Today we're going to take a look at the process of how to take some of the equipment that you might have drawn up in Inventor, um, you know, for your piping, um, like this valve, for instance, um, and use it in your AutoCAD Plant 3D. So a lot of you, you know, might just use Plant 3D as a, a means to just draw up all the piping, the positioning, your isometrics, and obviously drawings. Um, and others will actually use, uh, you know, you actually need to manufacture the piping as well. So when it comes to manufacturing the piping or the, 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 the old plant, um, you, you need to also take, you know, you might have done it all in Inventor, but what happens now is you, you, you know, have to, you know, use it in plant as well because you, you know, like you'd like to get this isometrics out, which is quite a nice little uh, feature which doesn't, um, is not available in Inventor. So what we're going to do today is just show you how to take it from Inventor into plant. Um, so the first thing is you open up your assembly or your part in Inventor, and we're going to export it out to a DWG. The two ways of doing that are the save as, so save copy as, and at the bottom you save type as AutoCAD DWG over there. Um, or what we can do is we can just go to file and export out to a DWG. One thing to make sure of is in your options what type of DWG you're sending it to. Uh, 2018, 2013, 2010, 2007. So if you are going to be opening up an AutoCAD plant, maybe 2014 or 2015, make sure that you save it to an AutoCAD 2013 file, as if you save it to an AutoCAD 2018 file, you will not be able to open up an AutoCAD plant. Okay, so once this is done, let's just go choose a folder where to go and save it. Um, I'm going to go save it in my DWG2 folder. Okay, I'm just going to write over that. Okay, and that's the inventor part done. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through to um, AutoCAD plant and we're going to go open up that drawing. So go browse to where that DWG file was saved. And let's open that up in plant. Now one thing is, the, before we even start trying to convert this to an AutoCAD plant um, object, uh, we need to make sure that this, this drawing that we've got is actually um, included into the project that we've also got. So one of the quickest ways to do it, I just go add custom part that says this object can only be inserted into a project drawing. Would you like it to add it to the current drawing? And I go, yes. Okay, so brings it up and it goes and automatically does it for me over there. The other way is to right click on the project, right click on the folder and go add to uh, this project as well. So once you've done that, I always find it easier. So you can see there now one inch three piece ball valve BN25 is part of the project. And I just always find it easier to look at this in, in shaded or, or realistic mode uh, when I'm adding in my ports. So the ports is being going to be where the pipe is going to be um, inserted. So the first thing we do every year now is type in plant, and it will tell you plant part convert. And then it says select block. Okay, I forgot to put it as a block. So these are all the things that you're going to see um, coming up as you are um, as you are converting your, your equipment from Inventor into your plant equipment. So let's go and make this a block. So type in block and give it a name. So I'm just going to give it DN25 ball uh, valve. So just something very easily identifiable. Pick your insertion point. So I'm just going to hold down shift and right click. It brings up this uh, object snap menu. And let's just go center. So this is going to be the top center over here. Okay, there we go. And then select the objects you want to be as part of this block over here. Okay. So if I select it now, you'll see the whole th the whole object to get selected as well. So now we can type in plant parts convert and select the block. And this little menu pops up. So we can add a port, delete a port, move a port, or exit. So I'm going to add a port. And now this is where this you need to be very accurate with this because this is where the pipe is going to connect. So you want it to connect on the outer um, sort of rim over here, but in the middle. So hold down shift, right click, and then I'm just click on center. And there you can see it's picking up the center point over there. And now what I like to put on is my author command. Okay, so my author mode, sorry, because there you can see it either runs on the X, the Y, or your Z axis. So Z over there. Okay, you can flip the direction. So with the arrow pointing down, that means that the, the pipe is going to connect from the bottom. With the arrow pointing the other way, the pipe's going to get connect from the top down. Okay, great. Accept that. And then let's just go to the other side of here. I'm going to click on add, hold down my shift button and just the middle mouse button, move it around. 
Um, and then I'm going to go, hold on, shift, right click and center. So let's go get that center point there. Select the center point, bring it back out again, and then we've got our Z axis. Okay, so accept that and let's go exit. Okay, fantastic. So now, just to make sure that everything's hunky dory, plant part convert, select this component over here, and it actually allows me to go edit this part. So if I'd missed out on any of any ports, I could have just gone and added those or deleted some or moved some. So you can see that because it's got those two arrows coming around, um, it part. So now we need to add this as a custom part into this drawing. So we're going to go to add custom part. And it gives us a couple different options over here. So under the part type, what kind of, what equipment are you actually using over here? Okay, so this is going to be a valve. Now why this is important is, say for instance I go for a cross, you'll see your ISO symbol, S key and your ISO symbol type. This is very important because when it comes to your, the mapping of your, your isometric symbols, um, it looks at these two um, these two uh, properties over here to tell it what to put down in the isometric. Okay, so let's go to our, our valve at the bottom. And it's not an existing plant 3D shape. It's an AutoCAD block I want. So with that AutoCAD block, um, okay, it's already, it's already picked it up over here. And it's picked up the number of ports too. Um, if you wanted the, say for instance, the top port, um, maybe was a, a 10 millimeter pipe coming in the bottom was a 25 millimeter pipe we take off that all ports the same but i'm going to say pick it on as, as that then for instance the normal diameter you can see the options that i've got okay so just make sure that it's the correct option that you're going to and then the end type i'm going to choose pl okay once i've done that to test it out i'm going to insert it into the model and drop it down over here Immediately, immediately asked me to assign a tag. I'm not going to assign a tag right now. I'm just going to close this dialog. And what you'll see, what's different to this component is that it's got those little teardrops on it, those little raindrops. Those raindrops tell me that there's no pipe connecting to it. So if I select it, you'll see all the familiar um, you know, substitute parts, grip, uh, you know, sort of rotate grip, move grip, and your little plus button, which if I click on it, it continues the piping over there. Okay, so there you can see I can start piping and it grabs my spec, which is my equipment, um, my equipment spec over there. Okay, so to add a, a component from Inventor to Plant, pretty easy, as a custom part. Okay, thank you very much for watching.